Peace, y'all. Johnny Fastlane here. So, the game gets sued for $7.1 million. Let's talk hip hop. Alright yo, this whole situation is crazy, right? Because I don't know if y'all remember, but like back in 2015, uh, the game had a reality show called She's Got Game, right? And the whole situation is, I guess this woman there named Priscilla Rainey said that the game groped her, right? So long story short, she took him to court. It's weird because she didn't call the cops on him. She didn't get him arrested. It was no criminal situation, but it was a civil situation. She takes him to court and the judge says, yeah, Priscilla Rainey, you got groped. The game needs to pay you 1.3 million dollars right and at that point the game was like i ain't paying her nothing good luck trying to get that right um you know priscilla Rainey kept trying to get the money from the game he kept running around he kept ignoring her so she ended up taking him back to court and the judge said oh because you being disrespectful because you trying to act like you ain't gonna pay her no money i'm gonna multiply that by six bam instead of you owing 1.3 million dollars now you owe 7.1 million dollars which was crazy right the game basically said look she ain't getting a dime from me so good luck trying to do it right so she brings game back to court and then the judge says fine you know what if you don't want to pay her any money anything like that we're gonna give her control of your record label LA prolific and we're gonna give her the royalties from your last album born to rap right which is crazy right that was a couple months ago so she should have been paid on that or at least starting to receive some royalties from that right um, I guess she's not because she he took him back to court and the judge said, all right, since you're not getting any royalties from Born to Rap the album or anything off of the record label for that matter, we want BMI to pay Priscilla Rainey directly or else they're going to be in contempt of court, right? Which is insane. And they're also trying to subpoena E1 record label, which is the record label that's basically the game's parent record label because the game is independent, but E1, they want to subpoena them because they want to see exactly how much money the game game actually really did make off Born to Rap or how much money he's making off of Born to Rap right now, right? Um, but this whole thing is funny because the game has said, right, that he doesn't own any of his own music so you can't get anything from him, right? And it's funny as hell because they playing, the game knows what he's doing, he's smart, right? Basically, Wack 100 owns all the game's music and y'all know Wack 100 is the game's manager, Big Blood Pie Roo, um, and he's a one hell of a good friend because he owns all game shit, all the royalty and everything and since this woman Priscilla Rainey ain't got no dealings or any business with WAC 100 it's not like she can have a judge legally take anything from him even though he's making money for the game and then you know under the table he could just get a game whatever he want right which is dope right but um yeah so that's what's going on but we'll see what happens y'all let me know what y'all think about this and everything else in the comments down below don't forget to like comment share subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell peace